Hello ladies and gentlemen, here to a here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Assault Amphibious Vehicle AAV, official designated as AAV-P7-A1. We're just going to simply in this video refer to it as the AAV just to not have to say that whole mouthful uh, several times. So the AAV. Uh, is a fully tracked amphibious landing vehicle manufactured by U.S. Combat Systems, previously by United Defense, a former division of FMC Corporation. Uh, the AAV is the current amphibious troop transport for the United States Marine Corps, and it is used by U.S. Marine Corps Assault Amphibian uh, Battalions to land the surface assault elements of landing forces and their equipment in a single lift from assault shipping during amphibious operations to inland objectives and to conduct mechanized operations and related combat support in subsequent mechanized operations ashore. It is also operated by other forces, uh, but mostly the Marine Corps is known for operating it. The Marines uh, have the nickname of Amtrak's for these vehicles, which I think is more of their commonly known name and what a lot of people refer to them as. And uh, it's a shortening for the original designation Amphibious Tractor. Um, in June 2018, the Marine Corps announced that they had selected the Bay Systems Levco Wheeled Super AV for the Amphibious Combat ACV program to replace the AAV. So sadly, the AAV, as iconic as it is, is going to be slowly phased out. Um, though it has seen a long service life of basically being in service since 1972 to present times, which is a pretty long service time for any real military vehicle. So it did have a long service life and uh, was able to do a lot, I guess. Uh, so anyways, a very interesting vehicle uh, for sure and uh, overall pretty awesome. Uh, so it was uh, nice that we finally got another vehicle request by somebody out. So it's good uh, that we were starting to work through those a little bit. I'm trying to make it my goal to get through more of those vehicle requests. Uh, though it is uh, you know difficult to go through them all. We're definitely making progress and we got another one out. So uh, also another American Modern Warfare vehicle, which has been a line that we've kind of been neglecting a lot. So hopefully we're going to get some more kind of American modern warfare vehicles because there's a lot of cool stuff to cover anyways go ahead and take a look at the vehicle itself we got a lot of cool stuff to take a look at so let's go dive into it so starting off on the front here we have obviously the front headlights the winch here in the front the front uh kind of um i guess uh little uh i don't know rough basically pull loops or whatever I, I'm, I'm completely losing tow hooks is the one i'm looking for uh up here in the front we have the top detailing up here the hatches the vents um the automated turret up on top here, uh, which is pretty cool, uh, pretty fun to make that, so that's up on top. Uh, then on the sides here, nothing too fancy for it, just kind of the standard. I think there are versions of the AAV that have extra kind of protective kind of armor on the sides, but this is the version without, so it's just kind of like the standard uh, AAV. Uh, we just have a bunch of antennas and stuff on the top here, racks on the sides for Marines to put cargo in, equipment and stuff like that they might need for the operation. Uh, on the back here we have uh, just some to the tail lights and the hatch here for obviously the crew to get out of the vehicle and on both sides we have uh different or basically two propellers on here on both sides or what are supposed to be propellers to represent uh what would be propelling this vehicle through the water um anyways it's a very interesting vehicle and uh you know pretty cool again in their modern warfare american vehicle to add to our ever-growing lineup so pretty cool about that Anyways, that's going to do it for this overview. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first set of layers, zero, layer 0 through 1. Alright guys, so move on to layers 0 through 1. So layers 0 through 1 are going to basically cover the whole bases here, setting up our tracks and pretty much the bottom of the hole in the vehicle. So to get started here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some nether brick slabs. We're going to place down uh, 1 and 2 nether brick slabs across like this, followed by 2 nether brick top slabs coming off those 2 slabs. This is going to be the left front of the tracks right here, so in case you're wondering, that's what we're kind of starting with. After we have uh, that all complete, we're going to go into these nether brick uh, slabs right here. We're going to take dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down a row of three across, followed by two nether brick slabs like this, and then two nether brick top slabs coming off those two slabs there. So we have the left tracks, left front tracks, and the right front, uh, just like that. After we have that done, we're going to go and take some nether brick. We're going to go and break two blocks in the ground that we're having this vehicle sit on, and we're going to go and replace those with nether brick uh, full blocks. It's be the same thing over here on both sides like that. And this right here is kind of like the layer zero where the blocks are kind of in the ground. So that's what we're referring to when we say layer zero. Uh, anyways, between the spaces here and the middle, we're just going to place down a row of three of dark oak with top slabs. Once that's done, we're going to take green stain clay. We're going to place down a row of two on both sides like this for our road wheels, followed by a stone button, an item frame, and a green stain clay block in 
the uh, item frame on both sides. So again, stone button, item frame, and green stain queen block. Just like that on both sides. We're then going to place down a row of three of dark oak with top slabs in between the green stain queen blocks. After that's done, we're going to take our dark oak with slabs, place down a second row, or another row of three going back, followed by a second row after that. Uh, this Again, this is going to be the very bottom here of the vehicle. So uh, that's what we're working on in the middle there. We're going to place down dark oak with stairs like this on both sides. They're going to have be basically be two dark oak with stairs and then two stairs right behind those stairs like that. We're going to place down a narrow row of three of dark oak with top steps across the middle here. Two green snake weight blocks on both sides like we did in the front there. Add an iron frame, stone button, green snake weight block. Same thing over here. Stone button, iron frame, green snake weight block in the iron frame. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and kind of do what we did up in the front here. So we're going to place down uh, two nether brick full blocks in the ground. So just like this on both sides. And then in the space in the middle here, a row of three of dark oak with top slabs. We're then going to place down a narrow row of dark oak with top slabs going across. Two green snake weight blocks on both sides. Stone button, item frame, and a green snake weight block in the item frame. Same thing over here. Stone button, item frame, green snake weight block in the item frame. After that's done there, we're going to take our dark oak with slabs. Place down a row of three across. Followed by a second row of three. And then a third row after that. We're going to go take our dark oak with slabs, place down, or dark oak with stairs, place down two stairs back to back. So two rows of two here with stairs back to back like that. We then want to place down a narrow row of two green stained clay blocks, both sides, stone button, item frame, and green stained clay block. Again, stone button, item frame, and green stained clay block. On the back section here, we're going to go and place down two narrow brick slabs, come off the green stained clay blocks on both sides, followed by another row of three of dark oak with top slabs across the middle there. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of two of narrow brick top slabs coming off these two narrow brick half slabs. Same thing over here. And in between these top slabs, we're going to place down a row of one, two, and three of uh, dark oak with top slabs across. We also want to grab ourselves a wooden trap door and place it down coming off the center uh, dark oak wood top slab like that. After that's all finished there, that's going to do it for layers zero through one. And with that, we can move on to our next set of layers, layer, uh, or actually sorry, just our next layer, layer two. Alright guys, moving on to our next uh, layer, we have layer 2. For layer 2, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to the top here, and on top of these narrow brick uh, slabs here, we're going to place down a row of 7 of green stained clay all the way across in between them. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood slabs, place down a row of 5 of dark oak wood top slabs coming off the center 5 green stained clay blocks. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and start working our way toward the back here. So along the side, we're going to go ahead and take green stained clay, we're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, green snake wood blocks back followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair We're then going to go and take signs and run it along all the green snake wood blocks. So along the side here just like this After we have that done, we're going to go to our second green snake wood block back from the front here Place down an iron frame and a green snake wood block in the iron frame like so We then want to go to the air side and do the same thing. So a row of uh, Five here a green snake wood blocks along the side here dark oak wood upside down stair again signs on the side of the stair the, and all five green snake wood blocks. Running all the way down, we're then going to place down an iron frame on the second green snake wood block in the front and a uh, iron frame or a green snake wood block in the iron frame. We then want to go and take our green snake wood blocks, run a row over the kind of space right in here. And if you guys want to do interior space, you guys can leave this kind of hollow in here for obviously the addition of interior. If you don't really care, you can fill it in, um, do whatever you want there, but we'll just leave it hollow for right now. Anyways, uh, once we have that done, we're going to take our narrow brick slabs. We're going to go. We're going to go ahead and go to the upside down dark oak wood stairs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, uh, five, and six narrow brick top slabs back. Same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five, and six back. We're going to place down a row of green stained clay right behind that row of six of narrow brick top slabs. Same thing over here. After that's done, we're going to place down an iron frame coming off this narrow brick top slab, so second to last, and also the one here, second from front, this narrow brick top slab here, uh, and a green snake wood block in those two item frames. Go ahead and go over to the other side, we're going to do the same thing, like this, and there should be a space of two in between the item frames. Once that's done, uh, go into the back here, we're going to place down a row of seven of green snake clay, all the way across here, with a wooden trap door on both ends, closed up like that. We're then going to place down a nether brick stair. On top of these two narrow brick top slabs on both sides. We then want to grab ourselves some spruce wood planks. We're going to place down two spruce wood planks over here on the left side with two stone buns on them. And then a green snake clay block over there to the right side. Once you guys have that done, that is going to do it for layer two. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer three. Alright guys, moving on to layer three. For layer three, we're going to go ahead and start off by taking our green snake clay. We're going to place down a row of five on top of this uh, row of five of dark oak wood top slabs. Like this with a zombie head on both sides like so. After that's done, we're going to place down a row of three of green stain clay across the, coming off the middle, three green stain clay blocks, followed by a dark oak with upside down stair on both sides, 
like this for creating the front there. We're also going to place down any stone button on both sides here for this row three green stink light. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden trap door and place down a wooden trap door, come up the center, green stink light block. After that's done, uh, go ahead and go into the sides here. We're going to place down one and two dark oak wood stairs back on these green stink light blocks, followed by a dark oak wood corner stair. Same thing over here, one and two dark oak wood stairs back and a dark oak wood corner stair. We're then going to take our green stink light blocks, place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine and ten green stink weight blocks back on the side here we're going to place down a stone button on the green stink weight block right after the corner stair skip a space stone button skip a space stone button skip a space of one stone button and skip an airspace stone button like this going all the way back followed by a sign on this last green stink weight block like so going over to the other side we're gonna do the same thing row of green stink weight all the way back here to this point and again our stone buttons here alternating skip a space of one and a sign on the last green stink weight block on the end here um, after that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a dispenser. We're going to place down a dispenser on the nerve brick uh, stair on both sides, followed by a wither skeleton skull coming off the dispenser. Right next to the dispenser, we're going to place down a cobblestone wall on both sides like that. And behind the cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a green stink weight block. In the space in the middle here, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves <clears throat> spruce wood stairs. And we're going to go ahead and place down uh, actually a row of two of spruce wood planks on top of those two from the previous layer, followed by a row of two of spruce wood stairs coming off those two spruce wood planks. We're also going to place down a sign on the stair over here to the left. Um, we're also going to go ahead and take a green stink weight block and place it down uh, right here in this space, so between the spruce wood plank and cobblestone wall, place down a mo uh, sorry a green stink weight block and then a mossy cobblestone wall coming off that green stink weight block like so. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to do it for layer three. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer four. Alright guys, moving on to layer 4. For layer 4, we're going to go ahead and start off by going ahead and going up to the front here again. We're going to place down a stone brick stair on top of this, this uh, wooden trap door up here in the front, followed by a green stink wave block on both sides of the stone brick stair. We're also going to go ahead and place down a zombie head coming off both sides of those um, green stink wave blocks to both sides like that. And also on the front here, we're going to grab ourselves tripwire hooks and place down a tripwire hook on each of these green stink wave blocks. Once that's done, we're going to place down a row of three, a green stink wave right behind the stone brick stair and two green stink wave blocks, followed by a dark oak wood stair on both sides on top of this dark oak wood uh, upside down stair. Once that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood corner stair that's going to be coming off this uh, dark oak wood stair like so. We uh, then want to go ahead and grab ourselves green stink wave, place down a row of three in between these corner stairs, and we're also going to place down a row of five of green stink wave after that. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a mossy cobblestone wall, place down a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides like so. On the side of this mossy cobblestone wall, we're going to place down a sign. Same thing over here on this side, like that. Once that's all done there, we're going to take our green uh, hardened stink away. We're going to go ahead and place down a row of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 green stink away blocks back. We want to go ahead and start off by going to the green stink away block right here next to the mossy cobblestone wall, stone button, and on basically on the block above all these stone buttons here, we're just going to place down another stone button going up like so. And it's the same thing over here on this side. So just like this, row of 11 all the way back. And again, our stone buttons. Like this, all the way down. After that's done, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on by taking a dark oak wood stair, place that one right here, followed by a dark, near dark oak wood stair, come off that stair to turn that into a corner stair. And same thing over here, just like that. In between uh, these stairs, we're going to go ahead and take our green stain clay, place down a row of five across in between the dark oak wood stairs. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves spruce wood planks, place down two spruce wood planks on top of these two spruce wood stairs. Stone buns coming off those two spruce wood planks. And a mossy cobblestone wall here to the right of these two spruce wood planks. Uh, we also want to go ahead and go into our inventory. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a iron frame. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some red stained glass. Um, so we're going to place down an iron frame. Come off these two green stained wood blocks on both sides here. A red stained glass block in the iron frame. And a sign that is going to go over the iron frame like so on the green stink wood block to create your back brake lights. Once that's all done there, that is going to do it for layer uh, four. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer five. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer, we have layer five. For layer five, we're gonna start off by going up to the front here. We're gonna place down a dark oak wood slab that's going to go on top of uh, this, uh, basically this uh, stone brick stair. Uh, on both sides of this uh, dark oak wood slab, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair with its back facing toward the front. On the back of the stair, we're going to place down an item frame on both sides, a glass block in the item frames, and a sign also on the uh, back of the stair as well to go ahead and create a uh, front look that looks something like that. After that's all done there, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair 
that is going to be over here on the left side. So on the left side, come off this stair right here. So dark liquid stair back. And then over here to the right side, we're going to place down two narrow brick slabs to the side there like that. After that's all done, we're going to go and take a green stain clay block, place it down going back from this stair. After that's done, uh, we're going to go and place down a uh, mossy cobblestone wall right next to this green stain clay block like that. Um, after that's done, we're going to go to the uh, side here, the right side, we're going to place down two nether brick full blocks to this side, and again a mossy cobblestone wall on this side as well. We also want to grab ourselves a zombie head, place down a zombie head on top of this, um, this dark liquid stair at about a 45 degree angle, same thing over here on this side as well. Uh, once that's all done, we're going to continue on working our way back, and just kind of, you know, noting here that, you know, what we do on one side kind of, might be a little bit different on the other side, so uh, just a little heads up if you couldn't tell already with this layer. So going ahead and continuing on, we're going to go and place down a row of five of green stain clay across. Uh, in the middle here, followed by a mossy cobblestone, or my bed, uh, we're then going to place down a dark liquid stair, actually. So it's going to be a row of three across and a dark liquid stair on both sides. My bad on that one. We're then going to place down a row of five of green stain clay after that, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall, again on both sides. We then want to go and take our green stain clay. We're going to go and place down a uh, green stain clay block here on both sides. So one here on both sides, followed by one more. That goes in like this, so you have two on both sides here, a space of three in the middle. In the space of three in the middle, you're just going to place down a row of uh, nether brick planks, or nether brick full blocks across like that. After that's done, we're going to place down another two green snake wood blocks on both sides, and again a row of three of nether brick uh, full blocks here in the middle. We also want to go ahead and grab ourselves stone buttons, and on the two green snake wood blocks on the sides here, we're going to place down two stone buttons. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood uh, stair, uh, just like this. On both sides, we're gonna place down a row of three green, or sorry, a row of five green snake clay across in between. Once we have that done, we're gonna place down a zombie head after this uh, dark liquid stair here at about a 45 degree angle. Same thing over here. And in between these, we're gonna go and place down a dark liquid stair face in this direction, both sides, and a row of three green snake clay across in between the stairs. Coming off these stairs to the side, we're gonna place down another uh, dark liquid upstairs stair, so that we have a dark liquid corner stair and then a regular stair that goes back. Uh, once we have that done, we're going to also want to grab ourselves a uh, wooden trap door to place down a wooden trap door and open it up like this on both sides like this. And on the side of the wooden trap door, we're going to go and place down a sign like this on both sides. Once that's done there, we're going to go and take our green stink clay, also place down a row of three in between the dark open stairs. Uh, going ahead and continuing on, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that we do have a little bit of a difference here. So uh, on the left side here, we put this wooden trap door. We're actually going to place down a dark oak wood stair. And on the back of the stair, we're going to place down a um, sign like that. After that's all done there, uh, we're going to go and continue on. So uh, I'll, but, I'll, but in the middle here, we're going to place down a row of three of green stain clay across. We're then going to go ahead and go to uh, the uh, basically dark oak wood stairs here. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides. And underneath these mossy cobblestone walls, we want to go ahead and place down a uh, full block just to fill in any space that's left open from looking at it from above. Continuing on, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden trap door again. We're going to place down a wooden trap door on this green stain clay block opened up toward that direction there on both sides. And we're going to go ahead and place down a sign again on the side here of this wooden trap door. Same thing there on both sides. Continuing on, we're going to take our green stain clay blocks. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a another row of three across the middle here, like so. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a wooden trap door like this on both sides. And we also want to go ahead and place down a dark liquid stair coming off these uh, green stink plate blocks on both sides, just like that. After that's all done there, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on by uh, taking our uh, green stink plate blocks, placing down a narrow row of three across the middle here, like so. On the left side, we're going to place down a green stink plate full block. Over here on the right side, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stay like this. And on the left side again, we're going to place down a wooden trap door. And again, we're going to place down a sign on the side of this wooden trap door and also this one right here. Going over to this side, we're going to go ahead and place down a sign next to this wooden trap door. And over here on the right side, we have something a little bit different. So like we did up here on the left side, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair. Like this, with its back toward the side and a sign on the back of it like that. Uh, going ahead and continuing on to our next row, we're going to place down another row of three across the middle here. Followed by a mossy cobblestone wall. Coming off those two blocks right there. And a green stain quick block under those mossy cobblestone walls like so. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a wooden trap door again. Place that wooden trap door opened up toward that direction, uh, like so. And of course, like we've been doing, we're going to place that sign on the side of this wooden trap door, like so. And same thing over here. Sign like that. 
Um, after that's all done, we're going to take our green stain clay, another row three across the middle here. Dark oak would stare on both sides like this. Another wooden trapdoor, this time opened up this direction like that toward the rear. Still a uh, sign on the side here, and same thing over here. Uh, let's see. Just like that to go ahead and finish that off. Once we have that all done, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a uh, basically two more rows of three of green stained clay across the middle here, followed by one and two. Dark oak with stairs that go back, one and two like that on both sides. We're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak with fence post, place down a dark oak with fence post on these two dark oak with stairs. After that's done, we're going to take green stained clay, place down a row of three of green stained clay, come off the previous, or the row of three right here in the middle. And uh, once we have that all done, that's going to do it for uh, layer five. And with that, we can move on to uh, our next layer, layer six. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer six. So for layer six, uh, we're going to go ahead and start off by going up here to the front. Uh, we're going to go to this green snake foot block up here to the left side. We're going to place down a spru uh, yeah, spruce wood plank on top of it. We're then going to go ahead and surround the spruce wood plank. So on top of this dark wood stair here, uh, the mossy cobblestone wall, green snake foot block, and another brick full block here. We're going to go ahead and surround it with uh, zombie heads like that to create a nice kind of proper hatch. After that's done, go ahead and continue on. We're going to place down a dark oak wood stair. That's going to go on top of this green stained wood block again on the left side only. Followed by a spruce wood plank right behind this dark oak wood stair. With a dark oak wood stair to the side of that spruce wood plank. And there dark oak wood stair to this side and also to this side as well. And so we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a mossy cobblestone wall. In this space right here. So in between these two dark oak wood stairs, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall. And we also want to grab ourselves some zombie heads and in between these stairs right here on the back we're going to place down zombie heads at about a 45 degree angle uh, like that on both sides. Uh, once that's all done uh, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some polished granite. We're going to place down a row of three across the back here like this followed by a sign on these two on those blocks on the sides here and a stone button on both ends like that. Um, after that's all done we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves dark liquid slabs. We're going to place down a row of one, two, and three across so we're going to skip this space right here and then we're going to place down a row of three across like this uh we're going to go and then grab ourselves spruce wood planks place down one and two one and two on the right side here and over here on the left side we're going to place down two zombie heads like this we then want to place down a row of three of dark liquid slabs across uh we are going to go ahead and then uh place down uh like we did over here but on the opposite side so two rows of spruce wood planks going back and then uh two uh zombie heads on the side here they're going to go ahead and go to this space here. We're going to place down a zombie head on both sides here with a space in the middle there. And then after those zombie heads there, we're going to place down a row of three of dark liquid slabs going toward the back. On the top portion back here, to add a little bit of detail, we're going to place down a stone button and also some redstone comparators. So we're going to place down a stone button in the middle here, followed by a redstone comparator on both sides just like that. All right, guys, so continue on. Sorry about that. Uh, so we then want to go ahead and go to our dark liquid fence posts here. And we're going to go ahead and place down an iron bar on top of these two fence posts. On the rear here. We're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves some zombie heads. We're going to place down zombie heads on top of the uh, mossy cobblestone walls that are kind of mixed in with these dark oak wood stairs here on both sides, just like this. Also, over here on the left side, on top of this green stained clay block, we're going to place down a stone button. And we also want to go ahead and go to the dark oak wood stair up here in the left, place down a dark oak fence post on top of it, and this dark oak wood stair here to the uh, right. We're also going to place down another fence post like that. After that's done, we do want to go ahead and start the turret in this uh, layer. So to get started for this, we're going to place down a green stain clay block here. That's going to be right here. So it's going to be in this spot right here. So we have this row of four here. It's the third block from the front. Green stain clay block here. We're going to place down an upside down dark oak wood stair going all the way around it. Just like that. After that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab. Uh, basically in between these stairs. So all the way around. After we have that done, we're going to go to the front here, place down a dark oak with top slab going toward the front, followed by a wooden trap door on both sides. Um, then we're going to go ahead and go to the back here and place down a dark oak with top slab coming off the back stair like so. And at this point, that's pretty much all we can do for the turret at this point in time. We're going to go ahead and kind of basically finish it and expand upon it in the next uh, basically final layers. So that right there is going to do it for layer six. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers, which are basically going to be layers seven through ten. Alright guys, so moving on to our last final layers, we have layers 7 through 10. So for these layers, we're going to go ahead and uh, obviously be completing the top here and finishing everything off on up on top. So let's go and get started by going to the hatch over here to the left side. We're going to place down a stone button on this uh, spruce wood plank, followed by a green carpet on top of this uh, dark oak wood stair. We're then going to place down a wooden pressure plate on top of these two um, granite blocks on both sides. Uh, we're then going to also place down an iron bar 
on top of these two narrow brick fence posts here and another iron bar on top of these ones going up. So basically from these iron bars here, we're going to go ahead and go three more up. So from each of these iron bars, so from the ones on the back here, one, two, and three up. Same thing over here, one, two, and three. These iron bars right here, one, two, and three. Same thing over here, one, two, and three iron bars going up like that. And that's pretty much it for that. Last thing for us to really do is to go ahead and put the turret in. So for the turret itself, we're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves some nether brick slabs and also nether brick stair, and we can go ahead and kind of get started with that. So we're going to place down a dark liquid stair on top of this uh, dark liquid top slab up here in the front. Uh, we're then going to place down a dark liquid slab to the right side and a dark liquid upside down stair that is going to be coming off to uh, the left side like so. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and place down uh, end rod coming off, basically two end rods coming off the uh, nether brick upside down stair and then two end rods coming off this nether brick slab like that. After that's done, on the back of this uh, stair, a dark liquid stair to place down a green stain clay block, followed by a dark liquid stair, like this to the side, and same thing over here. We're all, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some signs. We're on the left side or the right side, my bad. We're gonna place down a sign on the slab and also the front of the stair. Over here on the left side, it's a bit different. We're gonna place down two iron bars, one coming off the uh, nair brick upside down stair, and one coming off this dark liquid stair. After that's done, we're gonna place down a row of three, a green stain clay across. A sign on both sides. Going ahead, continuing on, we're going to place down a green stake with block in the middle, dark liquid stair, like this on both sides. On the back here, we're going to place down a dark liquid corner stair, come off these two stairs, followed by a mossy cobblestone wall in the middle, in between those stairs, followed by a sign coming off the mossy cobblestone wall. Uh, on top of this, we're going to go and uh, build on this, so we're going to go and place down a zombie head that's going to be on the green stake with block right here, followed by a wooden trap door on top of this dark liquid stair to the right side. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go into our inventory. We need to go ahead and grab ourselves a glass block and we will also need an item frame for this. So get both those like this. We're going to place down an item frame coming off the wooden trap door with a glass block in the item frame and a sign on the wooden trap door as well. Uh, once that's all done, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark liquid stair on the center green stain clay block right here. It's back facing toward the front, an item frame coming off the back of the dark liquid stair, and we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some black stained glass and place down a black stained glass block like that in the item frame like so. Uh, once that's done, we're going to go ahead and go to both sides of this uh, dark liquid stair. We're going to go ahead and place down a zombie head on both sides like this, and we're also going to place down a zombie head like this on the green stained clay block on the back here. Last thing for us to do is just go ahead and grab some narrow brick slabs. We're going to place down a narrow brick slab on top of these two uh, dark liquid corner stairs and coming off the sides of the slabs. Uh, basically the ones facing toward the front and to the sides, we're going to place down wither skeleton skulls like that around to create the smoke grenade dispensers. Once that's all done, that's going to do it for uh, layer 7 through 10, and that's going to complete the AAV uh, P7 slash A1 amphibious assault vehicle. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial. If you guys uh, do, be sure to obviously uh, give the video a like for sure, and um, everything like that. I think the vehicle came out really good and hopefully you guys do enjoy it. If you guys do have used this tutorial, I'll do it so that you guys give me proper credit for the design. This can be anything from a sound build to my channel or this video if this does appear any social media sites. Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for doing these tutorials. It helps my channel, um, you know, grow and it keeps me inspired to keep on posting this content. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, you're, use you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary204 and I'll see you guys next time.